is recording. Yes, this episode has already started. You're late. No, you're not. I'm late because I started recording late because I don't have a phone stand and I wanted to be lazy. But I said, fuck it. I'm going to put my phone on my computer. I have technology on top of technology. I will never succeed because I am already too well off. You ever think that? You ever think to yourself, damn, I'm not poor enough to be successful. I do not have it hard enough to become successful. Maybe I should become homeless. Maybe if I became homeless, I would get a kick in the arse and start working harder at my dreams. Okay, maybe that's what it takes. I'll let you know in 40 years when I have succeeded or failed, probably a combination of the two. Tomorrow. I know you're somewhere, somewhere. I'm drinking the most, it's over. I've been drinking, I've been drinking, so hold on. RIP XXX Tentacion. RIP to the God. Big news, big, big news. I'm not going to tease it anymore. I got vaccinated. Oh, yeah, I got the fucking vaccine. I'm going to get for my wallet so I can show you my my card, my vaccination card. It's right here. Give me a second. It's right over here. I hope you can still hear me when I take a step to my left and grab my wallet. I'm back. I have returned. Thank you for being so patient. So I went on Friday the... 5th of March. Should I be giving out that information? Probably not. I probably shouldn't be giving out that information, but I am. And also, I wanted to show everyone this amazing painting that was given to me by my amazing girlfriend. Look at this. This is Hogwarts. I'm painting a rendering of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft in Wizardry. I also got this awesome little Owl. Um, I want to move this to here so it's more visible, but for now it's going to be behind my head. It's going to be behind my head. You know what's frustrating me right now? You know what's frustrating me? This microphone. I got it at wish.com and people say, oh, wish is trash. You know what? You're trash. Okay, this microphone, I'm not going to move it around because I don't want to fuck up the audio. But it's like. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show the the YouTuber, the YouTube audience. Thank you for watching on YouTube, Louis de Jesus, at, you, at YouTube.com. But like, like the, the little stand things. If I wanted to face me, the little stand pointer legs is like off, and then I can't lean it up against my computer. If I lean it up against my computer like this, now the the microphone is pointing off to the side, and it's just like what the fuck. And so I'm gonna work on that like another time. I'm not gonna make you come through it, but I'm gonna table my, my vaccine. So the process of getting vaccinated. Um, one day, I don't. It was literally like the Tuesday before, the Monday before. Um, maybe I was out. I don't remember. My parents like at night. We're like, hey, uh, we got a, va a vaccine appointment. Ooh, is it still going? It's still going. We got the vaccine appointment. I was like, holy shit, how the fuck you got a vaccine appointment? And they're like, oh, you know. And I'm like, okay, that's great. And then like an hour later, they're like, hey, do you want to try and sign up? And I was like, is that an option? If that's an option, why didn't you tell me immediately? I, of course I want to sign up. So I went to samsclub.com, samsclub.com, pharmacy. Sam's Club Pharmacy website. It has a thing. Sign up for COVID vaccine. Bada bing, bada bing. I looked at all the locations in Houston. Found one with an availability. I took it. And I was scheduled. So I go up to the Sam's Club. It's all the way downtown. I live about, it's about an hour from where I live. And, you know, I get there and I'm walking in 
And there's this guy there that's like trying to check your membership for Sam's Club. And he was like, let me see your card. He was, let me see your card. And I was like, dude, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I'm not a member. Like my mom's a member. And he goes, oh, is she here? And I'm like, no, I'm here for the vaccine. And like, you ever talk to someone? Cause I, here's the thing, I was talking to him and in my head, I'm like, you're not going to keep me from the vaccine. Like, you just, just let me through. Because what you're, it's not going to, I don't care what you have to say. I'm going in to get, to get my vaccine. But once I told him I was there for the vaccine, he was like, okay, fine, you let me through. And I'm going to move this camera a little bit over to the side. Because it's not the screen I'm focused on. It's you. It's the camera. It's you at home in your living room on your computer. You're the people I'm talking to. Okay? Not the screen. I'm not looking at myself. You know what I'm going to do? Take this piece of paper. I'm going to cover the screen. And you can't see it because it's not in front of the camera. Okay? That's my commitment to you, the audience. And I'm a little bit worried that it's fucking with the light. So I'm going to move it over a little bit. Okay, because I care about you. Not myself. Do I like looking at myself? Yes, I do. Okay, do I like to look at myself in the mirror after taking a shower? Of course I do. Do I flex? Of course I do. Okay, do I think I'm in better shape than I am? Naturally. Am I obese? Yes, according to my BMI. Of course. Okay, that's what this is. That's how I got the vaccine. I have a BMI over 30. That was my qualification. Okay, BMI over 30. Am I proud of it? No. Do I want to weigh 165 pounds? Yes, I do. Am I going to get there? Of course. Am I there right now? No. Do I sound Chris like Chris D'Elia? I do. Do I like little kids? No. Did he like little kids? Probably. Or like teenagers? Yeah, looks like it. Gross. Ew. Gross. Him and that one guy. Who was that? Woody, Woody, Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Big trouble with Woody Allen. Big documentary. You know what? As much as like, these documentaries that get made about like the celebrities being bad, I feel like these companies are profiting off of it as well I mean they're profiting off of this story and I don't think people I don't think we talk about how kind of oh, icky that is that it's like oh this is so bad we're making so much fucking money off of it oh my god look at how bad oh Kelly you give us all your fucking money oh my god Woody Allen's a rapid kid You know, like I was, I'm watching this series. I'm not I'm guilty of it. I mean, I feel like if you watch it, you know, you're complicit. I was watching this series on on like mass shootings on Showtime. I don't know why, and it's like Showtime is profiting off of these tragedies, you know, and it just kind of feels gross. It does. It feels really gross. I don't like it. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to see it. I mean, I just want peace. I just want to be peaceful, man. You know, I don't like it. All right. So my vaccine. I get there. Um, you know, it wasn't a big deal. It's kind of like when you're there, you're kind of nervous, kind of excited. You know, everything is like, whoa. But it was, you know, looking back, it was pretty simple. You know, I got to the, to the pharmacy area. You know, a girl gave me a little clipboard. I filled out my name and my qualification and all that stuff. And I gave her my insurance card, which I don't know if it worked. But it doesn't matter. It's, it's free for all Americans. Isn't that great? Getting something for free in America. I mean, I know there was some, I know there's some billionaire out there who was like licking his chops going, Damn it. I can be making so much fucking money off of this shit. But I can't. 
Rigid. Ew. Disgusting. Nigga, disgusting. Water. Tell you what, my vaccine experience. Anyway. Um. They gave me my. I gave her the thing. They gave me this little information to read while I waited. The doctor came out. Um, I went into this little like cubicle, makeshift like thing in the store. Put a little circular sticker on me. Put the needle through the sticker and through me. Boom. It was over in like two seconds. Over in like two seconds, man. And uh, I made my arm really sore. I was really sore for a couple of days. My stomach was a little bit. My stomach felt a little gross uh, the day of. Um, like a little bit later, I started to feel kind of like stomach, a little turning in the stomach, a little gas. So I didn't really eat for the rest of that day. So and that was it. That was it, man. And um, happy, happy about it. They gave me this card. I really hope there's no uh, important information. And this card is going to be stolen from me. My social security's not on it. That's good. My birthday is on it. Okay, that's a little troubling. My last name. So I got the, I got the Moderna vaccine. <sighs> yeah. And then I get the second dose in a month. Or... April 5th is when I get my second vaccine, and two weeks later is when I'm fully immune, so. I'm really excited. I want to get back out there, start doing stand-up, start hanging out with people, man. It's been a really long year, and I really am optimistic that this could all be over soon. Because I just, this is just, this has been really, really hard for everyone. I, I didn't mean to this to get um, dark or whatever, but yeah. And I'm really glad that I'm really glad I can get the vaccine. My sister got it today. Very exciting. You know? Pretty soon this will be a COVID free COVID free zone. Ooh, I didn't show the YouTube people my new lights. You may have already seen the color of my controller. Let me get my controller so I can Show the fine YouTube people. All right, I'm gonna look for my controller. I'm um, who's right in front of me? Who's right in front of me? So I can change the color. Oh, look, it's green, I'm red, I'm blue. So I'm gonna show the nice YouTube family my light. Check this out: blue, red, green, uh, blue again. And weird colors, yellow. So this is hot pink. I really do like the hot pink. And I like this color. That's not the baby. That's my baby. I like this color. Yeah, I like this color. Okay. All right, that's done. It's all around my room. And this took, this took a while. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. This is a terrible viewing experience. All around the room. All up and down. We go back across. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If this gave anybody motion sickness, I apologize. So, I was kind of hoping that my one of my ideas for this was to put the lights up, and then whenever I had a topic change, I could go from let's say this color to green, and I'd be like, "Oh, new topic," and then blue, new topic, and then. Why new topic? You know, whatever, whatever, whatever. But um, I don't, I don't know how practical that is, or how much that's gonna come through. If I turn off this light, what does that do? Okay, this maybe does something. Changes. Yeah. Now it's green. Now I'm blue. Now I'm red. Whole lot of red. Whole, whole lot of red. Now this is the only light. Okay. 
blue. Still want to know your name. Green. I'm going to be green for the rest of this episode. Okay, this is the green episode. <gasps> it's the green episode. Okay, I'm sorry. This is, this is, this is, this is all over. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I need to turn my computer on. What's going on here? Oh, shit. Is this? Did my computer die? Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. It was because I turned off the... I turned my brightness all the way down. All right. Okay. This is... This is... All right. This is what we're doing. Okay. What else do I have written down? Job application. Trying looking for a new job, bro. I'm looking for employment. Applying for all these places. Trying, man. I'm fucking trying hard. I'm fucking calling companies. I'm sending emails and shit. I'm making cover letters, bro. Fuck. I'm gonna say fuck it, become a waiter. Think about that. Just think about that. She said become a waiter. Hey, well, good, good evening. Can I get you? Can I get you started on today, this evening? Does my teeth look fucking weird in this green light? Or does it just look fucking weird all the time? That's what I wanna find out. Alright? Okay, let's see what we got. Trying to find a job going on indeed applying for these things um i'm getting a lot better with like there, i went through a period where i went through a period where i would get to i would get onto indeed and i was still looking at these jobs and i would just get so depressed and sad and i would want to fall asleep and I would do that. But then I started taking Adderall. No. Uh, I did get back on that Vyvanse. And it's, um, I, it's, it's a give and a take with everything. You know? It's not, um, it's not for everybody. Sometimes it's not for me. You know, there's some things that I have to look out for. Like with hunger, and I get certain cravings that aren't very good. Um, it, it like reduces my appetite during the day, but then at night, oh my god, I want to eat everything I see. It's very strange, but I think overall it's been good. I, I think I've, I've been able to get going. I'm trying to learn about my brain. So I have ADHD, and I'm really trying to figure out what that means. How I can, how I can just still be. I feel like productive is a loaded word. But I mean, how can I still function with? With this thing, this ADHD thing, ADD or ADC, whatever. I don't. I think it's ADD. ADHD. I remember my. I had a Spanish teacher when I was in eighth grade who told me I had ADHD before anybody else did. But jokingly, he's the most ADD kid in the school. I liked him, though. Like I, He was kind of, like, jokey. And, like, he would, like, be mean in, like, a joking way. And I just email him, man. He was a really cool teacher. I hope he's doing okay. Um, fuck, after I graduated, I sent... Uh, this has probably happened within the last month. I sent... Um, Oh, this is a lactate pill in my pocket? It is. Okay. I have a lactate pill in my pocket. Cool. I sent a, um email to my old teacher from... Uh, fourth grade. My old fourth grade teacher. Letting her know that I graduated. She was very... Um, that year was very big for me. I started reading Harry Potter and it did a lot for me. And... Um, yeah, I emailed her. I don't know if she got it. I don't know if she remembers me or, or I don't know. Probably gonna check on that today because I haven't heard back. And now I'm getting retrospective, talking about my childhood, talking about my childhood, baby. 
when I'm talking about my childhood, baby. Talking about the things I did when I was a child. Fourth grade was the year for me, bro. Fourth grade, bro. Shit. Started reading Harry Potter's. That was my last year living in New Jersey. Started reading Harry Potter's. Okay, I became better at school. Okay, I had a great teacher, Miss Bambino. Miss or Mrs., I don't know. Uh, okay, hopefully that didn't cut. Okay. So I have five minutes left. Heads up, you can record for up to 30 minutes on your web browser. If you want to record for longer, you can use any app on your computer and upload the file. FYI, you can re record for 30 minutes max. So I got five minutes left. Ooh, look at that, YouTube audience. Look at the pretty green lights. I feel like I'm in Slytherin. Okay, you know what I kind of want? I want one of those, like machines, those music machines where you put the thing in your mouth and like I want to go to the movie with you baby create some live music on the pizzard creating live music on the pizzard boom boom live music on the pie boom 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 live music on the pie boom 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 I got a keyboard right over there what if I brought this keyboard over here about the keyboard right here so I can play music right here. Thing is, I don't know how to play the keyboard. I told myself over quarantine at the beginning of this I would learn how to play and I never did. I never did and I, I broke this promise to myself and I feel like for me there's so many things I want to do in my room. Okay, so you see this? I have this curtain. I want to move it put it right there and so I can take um, this whiteboard and put it bam right there so I can write stuff on it and you know you could trick I, I often trick my brain into thinking if I do this it'll all be okay if I just do this it'll all be okay all right I turn my table around I don't think I've ever even explained this it's my new setup okay my desk is facing my desk is not facing a wall or a window, it's facing the room, and I really like it. But there's stuff I want to do. I want to get, I want to get that thing out of here, and it doesn't get done. Doesn't get done. Okay. Um, heading towards, or speeding towards the end of this thing. All right, 30 minutes. I want to talk about uh, our loner of the week. Is Greg Kelly. And sorry to spoil. If you haven't seen the Showtime show, Outcry, um, check it out. I'm going to spoil it. And I feel like I already have. So, spoiler warning for. Spoiler warning for that. Um, he was a football star in high school. And his, going into his senior year, he was accused of sexually assaulting a child. And it was a whole, I mean, it was a, obviously a court case. He was wrongfully convicted. Um, he went to prison. He was, he had a sentence of 25 years. And with... Yeah, 25 years. And then he kept fighting. A bunch of people heard about the case. They all fought for him. And look, let's keep it a, let's keep it a thousand. If he wasn't a football star, they probably wouldn't have cared. He'd probably still be in jail. That's just how it is. But luckily for him and for the producers at Showtime, he was a football star. They got out. He, you, know, you know, he was able to prove his innocence. They freed him. The, per the person who did the crime, who likely did the crime, is in prison for a different crime, which he wouldn't have done if he was a resident of the So, Greg Kelly, loner of the week. And I'm going to wrap this thing up because I have 30 seconds left. And, uh, blah, blah, blah. So, anyone who listened to this point, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Check out the YouTube. I'm at TikTok. 
Chencho Jr. Thank you.